Hey, I'm Todd. Thanks for choosing to watch my video. And if you would subscribe it, like it, all that stuff, you know, uh, that would be great. Otherwise, enjoy the video, and I hope it uh, gives you the information you need and is helpful to you. Take care. Looking at uh, rear brake pad replacement, Hyundai Santa Fe, 2009 Hyundai Santa Fe all-wheel drive. So I have uh, obviously started here. You can see me put it back together, and you'll see how it comes apart. As they say in the manuals, reverse procedure to install. Or reverse procedure to uninstall, take apart. Our new brake rotor. There's a little rubber bushing, probably an inspection hole for the emergency brakes, the shoes, which are okay. Little brake clean, cleaned them up a little bit. So here's where we're at. Line up the holes for our Phillips screws if they're still on there. To get these off, you can have someone step on the brakes and you can try and turn them off by hand if they will come off. I'd say 50% of the time they do and 50% of the time they don't. And in other words, this is an impact driver you can use and buy, rent, and to take them off. Put it on here. You hold. Hold this steady and just hit it. And the end will turn and force it loose. So hold that steady, you hit it, and it'll come off 99% of the time. Take the two screws out. Again, you can have an assistant squeezing on the, stepping on the brakes, maybe help you to break them loose. Inspection plug. Got our caliper here. These old pieces, they are just friction fit and they just slide in and out of here. I've wiped this down a little bit. New pieces in the box. If you don't get new ones, then just go ahead and wipe this down with some soap and water, maybe. Clean it up as best you can. And we'll install it in here. This is kind of the friction piece. It fits in the hole here in the center. It's going to push down. Just like that. Caliper slide, put a little lubricant down there, caliper lubricant. So we're set. I'm doing this just taking one bolt down. You'll see later how this works. I have just a little bit of rust buildup on these. I'm going to put a little anti-seize on here so they don't seize up in the hole. <laughs> that's, that's easy. Yeah. Sure. Then we have our mounting hole here and here. So it's a little dark. There's two holes there. And we'll just uh, bolt it up about 44 foot pounds. I think the range is like 40, 37 to 47, but we're going to go with uh, like 44, 45 foot pounds. Start all bolts by hand. My torque wrench will just set to, to about 44 and we'll torque them down. So when you're getting ready to uh, do your brakes, you do want to 
collapse the caliper and I'll probably show you a little bit about that. You want to make sure the slides move. If they don't, you certainly want to consider just getting new calipers. So you can see that slide's pretty nice. Same with the upper one. Upper one just left that in place. And we'll slide our brake pads in here. In a second. You can put a little uh, lubricant on the edges of the brake pads. Don't put it on the surface of the pad, just on the little edges where it sits in here if you'd like. Got the squealer on this pad right here. It's gonna go on the back like this. Use a channel locks or a C-clamp to collapse the uh, piston on the caliper. It's a good idea to check the master cylinder fluid level before you do that. Make sure it doesn't overflow. Brake fluid can do damage to paint so it's collapsed as far as it goes it bottoms out so we'll just slide this in the hole up top just drop it into place like that all right so maybe I was mentioning uh, tighten this bolt down about 20 foot pounds and uh, we're good here not a lot of free play there, but I like to take my screwdriver, take the tire off, as you'll see when we put it back on, of course. I like to get my screwdriver in here somewhere, maybe in the fins. Well, there's not many fins, but try and get in here. I try and collapse the cal. There it goes. Back up a little bit, sorry. And you can collapse the piston and then also you can check to make sure your slides are good by doing that. So get the best you can. Collapse the piston that way. And then you can check your slides and then make sure you're moving. Because if they're not, then you want to get yourself a caliper. And we'll put the tire on. Here's the tools I use basically for the Hyundai Santa Fe, not including my impact gun down there with a 21 millimeter socket on there. So Phillips screwdriver, straight screwdriver, impact driver, hammer, 14 millimeter ratchet wrench and a 14 millimeter socket and probably just a regular wrench as well would work and a torque wrench. That should be it. 